PayPal is a fast, safe and easy to use online payment gateway that allows individuals and businesses to simply send and receive money online. Now you may have noticed that many websites have PayPal integrated directly with their checkout for a smoother transaction and individuals like you and I can send and receive money from each other with just a few simple clicks. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along. I hope you're all doing well. Now today I'm excited to share this PayPal tutorial for individuals and businesses. Those that are interested in learning how to use PayPal to simply send and receive money online. Okay, now before we get you up and running with PayPal, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note, let's jump over to my computer and launch into PayPal. <music> Okay, now today I'm going to guide you through the web version of PayPal. Now you can also download the free PayPal app on tablet or mobile. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, PayPal is a fantastic online payment gateway as well as a payment solution for individuals and businesses. For example, many websites now have PayPal integrated for a smooth transaction. Not only this, but as a business, you can simply receive payments from your customers via PayPal. And for individuals, you can send and receive money for free between friends and family. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and sign up or sign in to PayPal. Simply head over to paypal.com and that's going to take you to this web page. Then navigate up to the top and either log in if you already have an account or sign up for free if you don't currently have an account. Let's go ahead and click sign up. Then come down and if you currently don't have a PayPal account, what you wanna do is sign up for a personal account if you're creating a free PayPal account for an individual such as yourself, or if you're creating a PayPal account for a business, then go ahead and select business account. Then come down and click continue. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is meet you within our PayPal account. So go ahead and complete the initial sign up. It's very straightforward and we'll meet you inside PayPal. Okay, so first under our dashboard on our personal account, you can see that we have our PayPal balance. This is our current available balance of money on our PayPal account. Now we can select transfer funds and this is where you can transfer your balance on your PayPal account into your bank. All you need to do is simply link a bank. And it's a very straightforward process to link your bank account. So what we're going to do is exit out of this and then navigate back to dashboard. Now back on our dashboard, you can also see recent activity and we can come down here to link our banks and cards. So for example, if we come down here to link a card or bank, and up here, the first option is to link a credit card. This is going to allow you to use PayPal on different websites so that you can shop online. And again, we have link a bank account so that you can withdraw your funds from your PayPal balance. So go ahead and link a credit card so you can shop online using PayPal and link a bank account so that you can receive payments and you can withdraw payments from PayPal straight into your bank account. So what we're gonna do is exit out of this and again, navigate back to dashboard. Then on our dashboard, we also have send where we can send money and also request money. If we navigate over to more, this is where we can get the app, we can create an invoice, create an estimate, and we can also go to resolution center. And this is where you can dispute transactions. For example, if you did not receive a service or a product from a business and you used PayPal to pay for that service or product, you can request a refund and other options within the resolution center within PayPal. Okay, so to send money, simply click send, and that's gonna take you to pay and get paid. Now to simply send money, all you need to do is enter in a name, a username, email, or mobile. 
Most likely you'll have an email address associated with your friend, family, or the business that you want to send a payment to, their PayPal account. So what I'm going to do is add a email address that I know is associated with a PayPal account. And I want to send this account money. And then come down and click next. Add the amount of money that you want to send. Then come down and select the currency that you want to send. We're going to keep New Zealand dollar selected. Then down here you have the option to add a note. And then come down and click continue. Next, you'll be asked how do you want to pay. Down here you can see that we can use our balance from our PayPal account. However, we don't have enough money in our PayPal account, so I'm going to unselect this option. Then below this we have our debit card selected. And for the purpose of this example, we're going to use our debit card. We can also come down and add a new card if we like. Then when you've selected your payment option, come down and click next. Here we want to come down and make sure that the right option is selected, paying for an item or service. If we're just paying a friend, what we would do is click change and select sending to a friend. And then down here you can see the associated fee for this transaction and when you're ready to pay, simply come down and click send payments now. However, what I'm going to do is change sending to a friend and I'm going to select paying for an item or service. And this is going to enable buyer protection. Then if we come down here, we can select a shipping address if we like. And finally, come down and click send payments now. And just like that, we've sent $5 to this email address that has a PayPal account. Now we can also navigate over to wallet. And like we mentioned under dashboard, we can go ahead and link a bank account if we haven't done so already. This is for withdrawing payments. Then we can also link a card for making payments. We can see our PayPal balance down here and then we can see our debit card that is linked to our PayPal account. Then if we had some money in our PayPal balance, we can simply come down and click transfer funds if we want to withdraw the money into our bank account. Then next to wallet we also have activity. And this is where we can view all our recent transactions. You can also find activities between specific periods. Now if we navigate back over to dashboard, we can also simply request money. If we click request, we can go ahead and request money from a contact. So what I'm going to do is add the same email address we used earlier to send money to. And then come down and click next. Again, go ahead and add the amount of money that you want to request, as well as select the currency. You can also come down and add someone else, and you can also leave a note. We're going to come down and click request a payment. And as you can see, you requested $5 from this email address. Now I'm going to briefly show you what this looks like from the recipient's end. And here we are within the recipient's email. They can go ahead and come down and click get the details and make this payment from their account. Okay, so what I'm going to do is head back to our PayPal account. And then head over to your dashboard once again. And here what we want to do is navigate over to more next to request. And to simply create an invoice, click create an invoice. Then here what you can do is simply fill out your new invoice details before sending this to a customer or a client. You can also navigate over to use template and click here and you can select quantity, hours or amounts only. You can also change the currency here. We also recommend that you add a logo to further increase the professionalism of your invoice. Then once you've completed your invoice, you can save as a draft. You can also preview before you send your invoice or you can navigate over to send or click the drop down arrow and save this invoice as a template or you can share the link to this invoice and then share this link across different platforms to your contacts, customers and clients. So what we're going to do is navigate back over to our dashboard. And finally, if we navigate over to more again, we can also come down and create an estimate. And as you can see, the estimate layout is very similar to the invoice. You also have the same options up here that we just discussed. 
Okay, so now that we've covered all the different features to get you started with a personal PayPal account, what we want to do now is jump into our business PayPal account and show you the differences between the two. And here we are within our business PayPal account. As you can see, the dashboard is slightly different to our personal account. And down here under home, you can see that we have a balance of $5.10. And some of this is from the personal account we used earlier to send money to this account. As you can see down here, $4.38 has been received. This is money in. Then below money in, we have money out. So money going out. These are payments you've made. Then we have money requests. Remember, we showed you the process of requesting money. And then we've got unpaid requests and unpaid invoices. And then if we navigate up to the top, you can see that we have quick links. Now you can customize the way that your dashboard looks and feels. All you need to do is simply navigate over to the pencil icon and then you can change and edit your quick links and your dashboard. Now over here we have App Center. We can go ahead and request money. We can send money. We can also create an invoice. And over here we have PayPal checkout. If we click here, and this is where you can integrate the PayPal checkout with different platforms. For example, let's say that you had a website and you wanted to integrate PayPal into the checkout so your customers could pay via PayPal. Then this is where you'd go ahead and choose a way to integrate. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate back to home. Now, if we scroll past quick links that we've just discussed, we have actions. This is where we can go ahead and quickly create an invoice. We can also come down here and issue a refund, request payments, or we can go ahead and view all actions by clicking here. And for example, I can come down here and drag this and place that up here and then click done. And as you can see, I still have create an invoice here, but now I also have request money. Now I can edit these actions if I like. Now, if we navigate back up to the top and head over to activity and we can come down to view all our transactions, we can also navigate over to the resolution center to view all our open cases as well as our closed cases. Remember, we briefly discussed the resolution center earlier. Basically, you are protected as a business as well as as a customer through PayPal and you can dispute any transactions through PayPal within the resolution center. Then we have all reports and we also have operations, your customer list and API access. And this is important for your developers. And then next to activity, we have pay and get paid. Below wallet, we can view our balance and we can connect or view our banks and cards. Under invoicing, we can create and manage our invoices and we can also create and manage estimates. Remember, we discussed how to do this earlier within the personal PayPal account. Then next to invoicing, we have make payments. Again, we can go ahead and send payments and we can see our payouts. Under accept payments, we can request money again. We've showed you that process. Then we have PayPal checkout. If you've integrated PayPal checkout, you can view all your activities under PayPal checkout. Let's say if you've integrated PayPal with your website. Then we have subscriptions, which is where you can manage your subscriptions through PayPal. And then we have PayPal buttons. This is again for your developer if you use PayPal buttons. We can also navigate over to our account over here and we can view our message center. This is if you're discussing a particular case or issue with PayPal. Then below this we have profile settings. You can go ahead and add a profile picture. You can update your business details, your profile details. Then we have account settings and you can go ahead and log out. However, that is a beginner's overview of how you can get started with PayPal for business and for personal use. You should now be comfortable with using PayPal to manage your online payments, to send and receive payments online. 
And there we have it guys, that is it for our PayPal tutorial aimed at helping you leverage quick and easy online transactions. Now if you have any questions about PayPal, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you next time. Take care guys.